For today's bike of the day, I am in Greenwich, Connecticut to see my buddy Carlos Escudero who runs Solo Moto. What I love about Carlos, among many things, is the wide variety of stuff that he works on. I mean, look, just, just a quick peek back here. There's a Honda NR750, there's a Honda RC30 with an HRC race kit, Ducati A51 SP3, but you've also got a RD400. This thing, a puke da I don't even know what this is. And that's not something I say very often. So point is they work on a lot of stuff, but I wanna focus on what's on one of the lifts right now. This is a Condor A580. Condor is arguably better known by military enthusiasts than it is by motorcycle enthusiasts, but their claim to fame uh, would be that they made a couple of bikes for the Swiss military. So Condor is a Swiss company. They made a couple of bikes for the Swiss military. One is the A350, which is a, uh, it's based on a Ducati uh, 350 single. And then there's this, the A580, which has a boxer twin motor. You could say it was inspired by BMW. And uh, I think one cool thing I wanna point out beyond, beyond the military connection is that it has a gear reduction uh, lever here. So four speeds in the transmission, as you can see there. But uh, so top speed in normal street mode would be about 110 kilometers, roughly 70 miles an hour, I guess. And then if you pull this lever back, that's for when you're in tougher, rougher terrain, and then top speed gets geared down to about 50 kilometers an hour or 30 miles uh, per hour. So with that in mind, the, the gentlemen here are doing uh, a 12 volt electric conversion to this. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to show you what they're up to. All right, so I'm here with Carlos. Hello, sir. How are you today? I now we have a, an <laughs> example of what happens to us here when someone brings us a bike that we've never worked on before. Okay. First well, thing we do is tell him, I think we can do that. <laughs> and the next thing we can do is we make sure he's left the building before we say, <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into? In this case, with the internet and the German English translations, we're able to follow the instructions and come to some reasonable degree of happiness when we were first frustrated about how are we going to do this? Taking off the old parts and putting on the new parts, what we really wanted to try to accomplish was to not have it be obvious. We wanted to have it to blend in, whether we hide it under the gas tank or put it under the front engine cover, so that it looks authentic and that it behaves the way it should, but only better. Because the six-fold system is asking a lot with lighting and powering the ignition system at the same time. This is a permanent magnet system that's going to have an alternator. It's going to have a separate ignition system, transistorized, and it's easy to install once you've figured out what you're going to do. And many of the components were put in place of the old components, and we used the pattern from the old component to make the bracket to install the new component. Huh. All right. We've started it once. We're going to start it now with a little bit more thorough attention to having buttoned it up. And uh, B will be here to see whether it catches fire or it starts and runs. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, can you just, real quick before we do that, can you show people, one of the things you were showing me earlier is the operation of the, uh, the headlights. The high-low cable switch? The high-low switch, which I think is, is pretty fascinating here. It's got a spring-loaded plunger and a mechanical contact switch that switches from high to low. And once it's lubricated and adjusted, it works just fine. <laughs> Pretty fascinating. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see how this does and if we can get this thing fired up. this with a strobe timing light. Okay. We're going to check it once we get the key switch properly installed for all the lights to be operating and that the charging system actually charges the battery. Fantastic. I'm going to go around here. Well, there you go. 
folks over at Solo Moto working on some very cool, very obscure stuff and making it work. Nice job, Carlos. Thank you.